hello technical knowledge seekers assalamu alaikum hope you're doing well okay so today we have basically three problems at our hand and uh, we have to solved through fea okay so if you look at it uh, this is just uh, 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 the short uh, picks of these three problems uh, which you are uh, being shown to you okay so we need to solve these problems on ANSYS, Abacus, SolidWorks, Creo, Katia, any software. You can solve these problems and uh, after solving it, you have to write the results of these problems in the comment section of this uh, uh, video. Okay, just uh, when you uh, open up this video, just below it, there is a comment section. But uh, how you have to write it, uh, I will let you know. Okay, so if you look at over here, this is uh, the problems, the solve the following problems with assumptions on any FEA program, okay. So, he is giving you the liberty to solve it on any FEA program, okay. All students must solve in their PC and it is uh, uh, your moral obligation that you solve it and uh, with uh, honesty and write answers with their roll numbers only in the comment file of the video, okay. For example, if we have a roll number 33, for example, and uh, this is the problem one, okay, and uh, we say after solving this problem, uh, you get uh, the deflection as 5.6 millimeter. So, you have to write it as roll number 33. The problem one answer is 5.6 mm. Then you go to problem number two and you basically solve this problem and you get uh, the uh, slope of this problem as uh, of this as 0.56 or any radians, okay. So, you will write this answer as 0 0.056 radians okay comma and you solve go to the third problem and you solve it and uh, for problem 3 and you get the deflection as uh, uh, a value of uh, say 13 mm okay so you will write it your roll number comma 5.6 mm comma 0 0.056 radians comma 13 mm in the comment file of this video that uh, i am going to uh, send you right now okay and uh, again this is very important uh, in order to get uh, uh, this stuff right now okay so for problem one i have given you to calculate deflection at this unique point c remember we have already solved this problem analytically we have solved this problem on mds and i have given to you and already been done on the gcr and apart from that if you go uh, you have to uh, i have given you an ideal cross sec section 0.3 uh, easy cross section rather 0.3 into 0.6 mm if you want to uh, have a, another option you you can do it uh, and uh, basically get a, a reduced deflection uh, from taking any section of your choice that is uh, permissible but the dimension and everything and the material must be a constant you if you, uh, you if you do it with this way no problem but if you have a better option a better cross section that you think will uh, give you a better uh, answer you can go through it also okay then this is the second problem again i let you we have already solved this problem analytically during our classes and uh, now you need to solve this problem uh, through a, an fe approach okay and i have given you the values of uh, the length as 8 meter and movement as 80 kilometer meter and i have given you a simple cross section of 0.6 into 0.3 meters which is basically uh, your rectangular uh, beam okay so you have to solve it and you have to get the slope you have to calculate the slope for this uh, sib statically integral beam okay and again you have to write the answer exactly the same way any roll number roll number 50 for example 5 comma 5.6 mm 0 0.06 radian 13 mm in the comment file okay of this video and the last problem is basically this problem number three this is a more typical approach a very much uh, uh, challenging problem for you guys and again a cross section has been defined here i have given you a square cross section okay and uh, these are the deflections that they have given you you have to calculate the maximum deflection and you also calculate the uh, the answer as answer 3 in the same way okay the it's remember it's a steel beam and the cross section is this you can change your cross section appropriately to reduce the deflection the material same the dimensions will be the same the forces cannot be changed okay so and again write the answer in a similar fashion that has been told you this is very important for your answers and i will eagerly wait for everybody's answer in this comment file and so that uh, it will basically sharpen our skills on uh, fea uh, solving problems that will be very much uh, helpful for you guys in your future and for your final year uh, problem
problems and and most important when you do your final year uh, project uh, i hope you have understood this problem and uh, i'm eagerly waiting for you all of you guys results please submit it as early as possible and do submit it also in your uh, cep uh, report as an annexure as a separate annexure thank you very much and good luck